The clinical trial is for patients with uh, brain metastases and from two types of cancers. So from melanoma, that's a skin cancer that can also move into the brain. And also lung cancer, so non-small cell lung cancer can also go to the brain. And for these patients that have brain metastases, um, they, they, you know, we want to sort of improve their outcomes, um, especially in combination with radiation. So we're going to give them an immunotherapy uh, as well as uh, a, um, a radiation to sort of show that radiation in combination with immunotherapy can perhaps improve their outcomes long term. The best candidates are patients that are above 18. Um, uh, there's no upper age limit uh, for patients with less than 10 brain metastases um, and uh, patients that have not gotten any uh, PD-1 inhibitors uh, or any kind of uh, immunotherapies previously. So these will be newly diagnosed patients with uh, melanoma brain metastases or lung cancer brain metastases. Okay. radiation and immunotherapy, you need both of them uh, for these patients. Um, the question is um, how do we sort of combine them to be more effective than doing either one of them alone? So based on uh, a lot of sort of uh, emerging data, we think both of them used together are probably more effective than using either one of them alone. And the current standard of care would probably say use them alone because we don't understand the safety of the toxicity and what the benefits might be. So a clinical trial based on a lot of rationale would suggest that maybe we should combine both of them and learn about what's happening. And as we learn about it, we can really dig deeper into what's happening and perhaps uh, uh, enhance that in, for future patients going forward on a clinical trial.